Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my favorite post-workout smoothie. Uh, this can be also enjoyed during the day or even as an evening snack. The best part about this smoothie is that it's so healthy and nutritious and delicious at the same time. Also stay tuned till the end because I will be sharing with you few alternatives to the ingredients that I am going to be using in this smoothie. Let me show you how I make this. So I am using 1 cup of fresh blueberries and I am using 1 cup of almond milk. Now uh, the measurement of the milk should be uh, like the half of the glass that you are going to drink in it. So this makes half of the glass. So I am using 1 cup of almond milk. Then I am going to be using 1 tablespoon of almond butter. And I am using 3 pitted dates. Now these dates I have soaked it for 10 minutes in warm water that helps in the blending process of the smoothie. So finally I'm adding one banana. I like to freeze my banana at least two hours prior to making the smoothie because it really helps in the right texture of the smoothie and it also keeps the smoothie cold. That's it. So all we have to do is now blend and make the smoothie. I just love the color and the smell. Now all you have to do is pour it and enjoy. I like to top this drink with some hemp seeds. That's it. Let's give this a taste. I'm really excited. It has become one of my favorite smoothies. And just because all the flavors go so well with each other. I'm going to share this with my husband. But if you're going to have this full glass, it is going to make you full. So that's a warning. And if you don't have almond milk at home, you can make use of cashew milk or oat milk. The reason I don't like using regular milk with this smoothie is because uh, dates have iron in it and uh, regular milk has calcium in it and they both uh, does not go well with each other so that's why I prefer using almond milk and if you don't have almond butter then you can use uh, peanut butter if you if that's what you prefer also one more thing you can make the same drink uh, without blueberries and by adding chocolate I like to use dark chocolate and that's also a nice way to uh, serve this drink to kids. I'm sure they're going to love it and uh, this drink will also go really well with chiku fruit. So if you can get fresh ripe chikus, you can use it to make the same recipe instead of blueberries. I really hope you try this smoothie and if you love it, don't forget to, to mention in the comments. And uh, I will be back with more recipes. Until then, bye-bye.